you can do a lot of things to actually understand because if you can see it if you can see these bodies of people these whips on people whips on people uh, nooses on people if you could see people hanging from a tree while white people are posing in front of the body then maybe you can freaking understand but no you want to sweep it under the rug and say oh this was years ago and we we moved on because now you guys live just like us and you know there shouldn't be any problems but that is not the world we live in because some people still have their racist mentality and that's what you don't get even if you don't have it someone else has it okay just because you're not racist doesn't mean someone else that you know and you see every day at work or whatever doesn't go home and you know fly the confederate flag and want to just you know hate black people and that's the thing and get started on where I've been um, I'm pretty sure you can tell by the color of my skin you already know where I've been and um, what I'm dealing with um, I did this long rant <laughs> for um, YouTube and I'm thinking about just using it as a way to vent my frustrations but not really post it so I'm gonna probably yeah I'll throw in a clip of um, my rant if you will um, but you know I with my channel being new and the way um, YouTube is, is attacking people in their channels for even saying things I thought it'd be best that I just um, use it as a as a form of journaling, if you will, verbal journaling, I guess, or venting, and just kind of watch it for myself and get that frustration and anger out. And you know, it was what it was. And this was like last week, so I'm gonna catch you up. I am back at the office now. <laughs> I went back to my old job a day after I took the drug test for the new position I was going to take. My job mailed me a letter asking me to come back and keep my tenure and everything. So, um, at you know, I've been looking for jobs and just because I was bored at home, and so now my resume's out there and I'm getting all of these and interviews and with really really great positions and you know I I'm blessed and fortunate beyond measure I will say that and I'm excited so I'm, I'm not sure that I'm even gonna stay at my job my current job now um, I may very well be switching firms as of yesterday I did make the decision to uh, switch firms if everything goes well you know I'll be working somewhere else and who knows maybe I'll be back at my current firm you know in the future when they get their ish together <laughs> but um yeah I, I feel the same way most people feel I've been dealing with my feelings I've been learning how to cope and deal, learning how to go in public and mask my pain and just get my job done and envy other people that don't have to have this black cloud over them and they can just, you know, have pie in the sky. <sighs> but, you know, we're, we're taught to, to fight. We're taught to to suppress things and fight to keep our sanity, if you will. So, it's nothing new. I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna perform maybe exceptionally well now because that's, you know, my way.
way of seeing we can be great, sorry. You can do things, you know, do miraculous things in the workforce. So, yeah. That's what's been going on with me. I'm gonna get into work. I'm still trying to get my wits about myself with, I hadn't been working in like maybe three months. So, you know, finding my way around all these systems again. And that job I was pretty new at. I may have been at it a month. So, you know, as soon as I got good and rolling, you know, now, and this, the uh, COVID-19 happened, I'm back to square one, so, but it's, it's going pretty well, I'm recalling a lot of things, and people are there to help me, so, yeah, anyway, let me let you guys go, and I'm gonna head into the office, and I'll see you guys when I get off, and maybe I'll do some light shopping today, just for things that I actually need. I'm the last one left in the office but I got through the day um I am about to go by the house um last I heard they had did the plumbing they were supposed to frame out my fifth bedroom they are taking their precious time doing it they did not see it in the original blueprints and it should have been there because they charge us the arm and the leg for it. I didn't care for a fifth bedroom. I'm in a five bedroom right now. And um, we only have one child in the house, mind you. And, um, you know, it's just, I don't need all those rooms to actually clean. But I think removing the fifth bedroom changed uh, configuration in the game room that my husband really didn't like so he just opted to put it back and pay just foot the bill and pay it so that's what we're doing and so we're gonna see if they got that framed out and sorry I'm way at the top of my parking garage normally because I um I work a later shift than everyone I like it to be quiet while I'm working but yeah, so we'll go see if they put that bedroom out and um, they did electrical work. Um, my plug should be in. They said they had a problem getting my brick and my brick was also an upgrade that it was gonna add to the bill. So like we're way over budget with, um, with this house, but we just decided to, you know, take our, our um, time and save save money before we close and just start putting it towards uh, the des design center that way it's not added into my mortgage um, because it's looking like we may not even stay in this house long um, my husband doesn't like the lot size I I couldn't care less I could stay there but he he doesn't like the lot size it's, it's super small and he's an outdoor person I'm not. <clears throat> I'm all about the inside of the home, so I'm happy, and he's nice. I'm sure, you know, in about three years, we'll we'll probably move somewhere and re and build another house and just rent that one out. We're gonna rent out our current home now, so that's gonna cover um, the old mortgage and the new mortgage. So. And I'll do it. I'm going to do some content videos. I do have everything that I need to um, actually talk to you guys. If you're wondering about, you know, how to make moves out here, um, I definitely know how. <laughs> so, yeah, look out for that. But anyway, let me stop rambling and get on the highway. And I'm going to take you guys to the house. So I'm standing in the dining room. And it just looks to be a lot cleaner in here I guess but not clean as in the ground but from all of the um, framework that was holding the frame to the walls but yeah this is the dining room uh, over there is the kitchen 
and there is uh, the living room area and I'm actually standing in the dining room area here let's see here yeah and yes I'm now in uh, the media room here but I do see right here they finally put that fifth bedroom up so it's not gonna be as large of a game room anymore because we added a bedroom this is just the game room now so yeah it's up and back there is the weight room down the hall so yeah everything's pretty much framed this will just be a guest room for my friends and they also had to close in this Let me back up because they had two doors to a small bathroom and I thought that was pointless I'm losing wall space there so I just wanted one wall there and the actual door is right here and so now we have an actual hallway that leads to this which will be the actual um, size of the weight room will work out here and God knows I need it. I have gained so much quarantine weight. It's all in my neck and my face. <laughs> but it's okay. I, I can lose weight pretty easily. They're not done with the closure here. I really don't know what they're going to do. But right there is going to be railing. So you're only going to be able to walk up and around to get on this side. I may install a, a gate there to give you a cheat, a cheat way to kind of get there. If you're not walking over towards the other rooms, you, you don't have to walk all the way around. That's just too much circling. I mean, my stairs already spiral up. You shouldn't have to walk around even more, you know, just to get on the side of the game room and the media room. So I'm going to probably install an iron gate within our stairs and, and redo that. It's not a, a now thing, but definitely gonna do it. I'm all about efficiency.